Hi guys, welcome back to Natty Nation. My name is Natty. JB is not here today, but he says hello. He went out to run some errands and stuff, and we have to catch his natural light so you guys can get a good and clean video. So thank you, thank you yesterday for your kindness on my DIY video. Um, it was so much fun to do. I again, I think, I think for me, my DIY needs to be really simple. That's how I process. When it comes to DIY and it's okay if you thought it was too simple if you want to do something more challenging that is on you and kudos 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 I redid my hair guys and I put in look a little bit of gold strings and stuff in it I do like it I do like it I like comment below if you guys have braids um I like the fact I can just I don't gotta worry about doing my hair that's that's what I like um so enough about that today it's all about home decor updates and wallpaper oh my goodness it i think since the last time we spoke about wallpaper it's been maybe like a month not what well, last month a few weeks ago so we went to wills you guys know that's where we go to get our wallpaper yes jb and i love to use wallpaper that's going to be a given but the way we use it it's not like a lot it's just statement just sprinkled throughout our home and you guys saw the entryway, the ceiling, and our half bath. Now you're gonna see the mud room, our water closet, and our sitting area. Yes, we did those. And our tech, our um contractor was amazing. But before we get into um our contractor and what he does, I'm gonna show you the wallpaper that we picked out and also why we choose each one. And you guys can also buy these wallpapers. So first, guys guys get into this get into this get into this look at that come back look at that look at the pink the green look at all the colors yeah this is our mudroom honey oh my gosh it is so stunning it is so beautiful and thus far well no one has seen it due to covid but nevertheless we love it whenever we walk in that space it just it just makes you smile it makes me smile it makes my husband smile my boy smile and that's all i want whenever you enter any space in our home whether it be wherever i need for you to smile i need for you to feel welcome i need for you to have like oh why did they do this oh my gosh i need to i need I, i'm inspired next one that we did was for our no let me do this one first this one that we did was for our sitting room this is the room where it's off the master and this is just a jbni space and this room where we have our thrifted sofa yes so what i wanted to do was to bring in some some gray a little bit of spark but not too much so we take this paper here hold on let me open up some things i think he did it this way do you see that look at that so all these papers the wallpaper we have is the brand york so we can definitely um that would definitely help you and give you give you a guide to where to go and find it again we're going to find a stand number for you so you can have that if you want to shop for it and if you're in the M the dmv area please check out um wells and tell him james and Natanya send you again these weren't um too expensive again i think 49 I want fifty dollars for a double roll, and you have double roll and single roll. But I like to get double roll because it gives you a little bit more than the single roll. I think you save a little bit of money that way as well. The plan was to wallpaper our entire master bathroom. Okay. However, when our tech or our contractor came, we didn't have enough paper, so he he did everything else, and then he said he was gonna start with a water closet. So once he did a water closet, um, we realized that having having this pattern. Having this pattern throughout the um, the entire bathroom would be too much. So we decided not to do the entire bathroom and just to have the water closet done. And we're going to do something fun in the bathroom itself. But this paper, thank goodness I have it so I can show you guys the real thing. So it's York wallpaper covering. Um, the pattern is a number. So I'm going to link that down below, below so you can see it. It is the unpasted washable peelable wallpaper now the reason why i get these wallpaper for the bathroom again because it's the bathroom and the bathroom needs to be sanitized properly 
and you got to wipe the walls down. So you have to make sure whatever paper you put in the bathroom can be washable. So you can just simply sanitize it when you need to sanitize it. So whatever you whatever you put in, make sure you know how to maintain and keep that paper looking good. Do I the the transformation of our spaces once you see it today the spaces the spaces are not yet started at all um, we're still sourcing um a bench for the mudroom we're still sourcing um a rug for the mudroom also when it comes to our sitting room we still got to put up a tv that that has not yet the old one is not going to go we're going to get a new tv and um i got to get new curtains and curtain rod and someone in the comment before um a few weeks ago said I should do like a, um, I think he said a bronze, like a brush, bronze color. I'm thinking it looks more black. And I think that would look really, really nice against, against, um, against this wallpaper. So, enough of me talking. Oh my gosh, it's been 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. So, let me zip it up. Enjoy the video, guys. Watch the drill. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to share and turn on your, notifica turn on your notifications so you can be notified when a video comes up. And also, finally, tomorrow Q&A, it's live. Get your drinks ready. Get your drinks ready. Get your drinks ready. Let's go. All right, guys. So finally, I get to this part. Now we have Tam. And you already prime where it's going to do the wallpaper. So now we're just measuring out to start cutting and pasting. Okay, can we just get into this color? Can we get into just the entire artwork, the entire mood, the happiness, the smile, the the vibrantness? Is that a word? I don't know. I'm just happy looking at the space. I we really love it. It is welcoming. It is warm. It pairs really well with the with the trim work. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, just love it. Such a statement. Such a statement. Oh my gosh, the flowers. I'm a big fan of flowers. You guys know that. So if I can just have each space, just have a little bit of representation of myself and JB, that is a dream come true. And we're so loving it. I hope you guys love it. I hope it was worth the wait. And I can't the wait. And I cannot wait to show you guys like once it's finished stage and, and style. We're still trying to find some kind of protection for the cut on um, the cat the cubby i'm sorry if you guys know anything drop it below and, let me, and i'll go ahead and get it because i need to start using this space it's almost winter okay beautiful space beautiful space okay guys next we're moving into our sitting room in the master you guys are very much familiar with this space you see what this space looks like just white and bare um we wanted some definition we wanted a pop we wanted funkiness we wanted character we wanted just like come on a vibe a moment so let's go so Tom's already set up so now he's gonna do what he does which is prime the wall first and then of course start installing our wallpaper okay it is he started and this is what it looks like I'm excited um, one thing that I've learned by watching Tam doing um, installing the paper is that it's all about it being seamless. You don't want to see where each paper is connected. It needs to flow in regards to how the design of the paper is. If there's an arrow, make sure they're all pointing the same direction. If it's a floral arrangement, make sure it all just do what it's supposed to do, line up properly and flow. And ta da! Here it is. All finished. In its, perf in its perfectness is that a word again i don't know let's move on okay um beautiful texture and that the design flows from top to bottom i think it pairs really well with our um with the trim work on, on the wall that offices in the master and the sitting room and as i mentioned earlier we're going to get a new tv installed everything's already done we just got to put the tv up and then that's done so there won't be any damage to the wallpaper and as i was showing you there before it even covers the plug guys that's my kind of guy so also remember i'm going to change this curtain as well so keep that in mind okay with the body's going to go higher and that curtain is definitely coming down i love this space so much enjoy guys
Next place we did was our water closet. And this, my favorite. You know what? They're all my favorite, but look at this. It is stunning. We had it all the way up to the ceiling. And honestly, I wish I carried all the way on the ceiling, but nevertheless, it is so good. So good. Look at that detail. Look at the lines. Look at that. Who would have feel like, who would have feel comfortable? And for these nails that you see right here, there is one, two, and three. We're going to hang something on the wall. So that's why we had that left out when he was doing it. We just carried all around the room. Another thing we did was we remove the toilet paper holder because I don't want, I just want to be clean and fresh. And so right now I store all the toilet paper in this beautiful basket in the corner. But I'm, I'm going to get a stand just to put right beside the commode. And you know, you can just have it right there now. So you can even rest your phone and stuff like that. Guys, you know what the bathroom is for. So yes, love this. Love this. I hope you guys can see the transformation of what it was before just being white and flat and the wallpaper just give it like pat out give it a moment give it a moment yes 